Hi again everyone. Today I'm going to be reading this story, which is Farmer Duck, by Martin Waddle. I hope you enjoy. There once was a duck who had the bad luck to live with a lazy old farmer. The duck did the work and the farmer stayed in bed all day. I think I like this farmer. The duck fetched the cow from the field. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. The duck brought the sheep in from the hill. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. The duck put the hens in the house. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. The farmer got fat through staying in bed and the poor duck got fed up with working all day. How goes the work? Quack! 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 The poor duck was sleepy and weepy and tired. The hens and the cow and the sheep got very upset. They loved the duck. So they held a meeting under the moon and they made a plan for the morning. Moo, said the cow. Bah, said the sheep. Duck, said the hens. And that was the plan. Hmm. It was just before dawn and the farmyard was still. Through the back door and into the house crept the cow and the sheep and the hens. They stole down the hall. They creaked up the stairs. They squeezed under the bed of the farmer and wriggled about. The bed started to rock and the farmer woke up and he called, How goes the work? And moo back, look! They lifted his bed and he started to shout. And they banged and they bounced the old farmer about and about and about, right out of the bed. And he fled with the cow and the sheep and the hens, mooing and barring and clucking around him. Down the lane, moo through the fields, ba over the hill, cluck. And he never came back. The duck awoke and waddled wearily into the yard expecting to hear, How goes the work? But nobody spoke. Then the cow and the sheep and the hens came back. Quack! asked the duck. Moo! said the cow. Ba! said the sheep. Fuck! said the hens which told the duck the whole story. Then mooing and barring and clucking and quacking, they all set to work on their farm. What a nice ending. I hope you're not lazy like the farmer in this story. Make sure that you're doing your best to help out, especially while we're staying at home. See you again soon. Bye.